Hey eBay sellers, it's Suzanne A. Wells. Thanks for coming back for another video. And today we have a Money Making Monday video. If this is your first time watching, these sales are taken from my Facebook group. The name is Stay at Home Mom Selling on eBay. This group was started back in 2008, so we're going into our 10th year. And it was basically um, just some moms that got together to help each other supportively network uh, eBay selling because Facebook was free. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, the group grew and grew and grew and it's so big now we can't change the name. So anybody's welcome. You don't have to be a stay-at-home mom. Uh, we're just not going to try to change the start a new group because we've got almost 30,000 people in here. So uh, what we do here is sellers will post what they found where they bought it, how much it cost, how long it took to sell, and a link to the listing so others can look at it and look at all the details. Was it free shipping? Was it an auction? Buy it now. Look at the description, look at the keywords, um, and learn about different items to sell. So we do this every week and there's usually 200 or so comments on this thread. So that's what this video is about. But before I start, one thing I wanted to mention was I had put up a uh, my version of a haul video two days ago. And um, this video is like taking off. I wanted your opinion on if you liked this format. So in about 36 hours, it had um, almost over 3,000 views, 364 likes, which is like, I've never had that many likes on a video so fast ever, um, and 138 comments. So I'm so glad y'all liked it. I will definitely do more of those um, so we can, um, you know, help each other learn more about selling on eBay. So that, more of those are coming. Okay, so back to Money Making Monday. Let's see what everybody sold. Well, not everybody, some people, <laughs> because this is, um, I could sit around and make these videos all day, and uh, it's just so interesting to learn this way because these are actual sales that, um, you know, it's the proof. It's what a buyer paid and where somebody found it. So it's all real, and you can learn for, from it. So Dana, she bought this purse for two dollars at a thrift store it sold in four days for ninety nine dollars and this is one I'm not familiar with and that's what I love about this thread is you can learn so much about what to look for because if you're in the thrift store anyway you might as well look around and pick up more stuff to sell so this is a sword and plow messenger bag and I am not familiar with this brand so I'm definitely going to look for this now. Let's look at the the brass plate on the front. Sword and plow. So that's a nice looking bag. Dana actually lives near me in a suburb of Atlanta. So I'm wondering what store she got that in. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so she has her description there. So she turned $2 into basically $100 in two days. So there you go. That's why we do eBay. And this one I also wanted to show you that Dana found. Um, she paid a dollar for this. And she's saying the bins, but I think what she means is the bins in the back of a regular Goodwill because we don't have the outlets here in Atlanta so I think maybe she's confused on, confused on the terminology of the bins um, unless she went traveled somewhere else so I don't know but based on this item that she found it looks like it was definitely found in Georgia because this is the Masters logo and for anybody living in Georgia or knowledgeable about golf you know what this is um, this is Augusta National Golf Course. Uh, the tournament is called the Masters, where the winner of the tournament wins the green jacket and a whole bunch of money. And it's a very famous golf tournament and golf course that Bobby Jones, the famous golfer, helped design. If you want to learn about golf and also a great story <coughs> about, uh, sorry, I'm just choking this morning. Um, 
me pull up this movie for you so you can see it. Um, so this is uh, the movie Bobby Jones Stroke of Genius and it's all about Bobby Jones and he went to Georgia Tech and all about his golfing career and all about Augusta National and it's, it's a great movie just um, maybe something you can put on while you're listing <laughs> to learn a little bit about uh, Bobby Jones and then you'll remember that name when you're out thrifting because that is also another brand of golf clothing um, it's, it's high end it's expensive it sells well so anyway, I always get off on these historical topics because I like history. Well, let me quantify that. I like, uh, <laughs> I don't like war history, like Civil War and all that kind of stuff. I like historical, like stories, like how things came to be. Anyway, so this is a vintage needlepoint purse with the Augusta National logo on the front and very interesting um, the actual golf course on the back a map of it so that is very cool that's definitely collectible and so down here at the bottom it's um, oh I totally would have grabbed this it, probably if it was like up to ten dollar I would have taken it no matter what the cost was um, so it's it's embroidered it's got the year down there at the bottom nice uh, looks like leather straps um, this was a very unique find and that's what you need to look for is the interesting unique stuff that's different um, that's where you're gonna make your money on eBay um, there is money to be made in selling you know mass-produced items but this is my 15th year on eBay and in, in my experience the things I've gotten the most for and that the buyers have uh, really been excited about like they'll get the item and leave great feedback or even send me an email with a little story about why they bought it it's this kind of stuff any that's vintage or and unusual so she paid a dollar for this sold in six hours for forty dollars so um, I probably would have put like a um, hundred on it be just because it's so unique um, so that's definitely a logo that you want to learn about is the masters so a bunch of people commented on that and so we're going to go down to the next one um, this is Jen she's one of our uh, moderators in the group and she's also one of my virtual assistants uh, well our virtual assistants that lists things for other people so she uh, does a great job there sold this for a family member going through rough times it was sitting in storage sold in about half an hour after listing it so let's see oh my gosh four hundred dollars what is this Illuminati New World Order factory set. What is this? Is this a game? Oh, it's a game. 1995. It's some kind of game. I'm not familiar with this, but now I'm going to be looking for that. It's the, it says Illuminati, and it's got the pyramid with the eye in the middle of it. So I am going to burn that image into my brain right now and consciously remember this. $399, well, basically $40, $400 for this this game, um, factory sealed. So you could totally find that. You could come up upon that at a garage sale, an estate sale, a thrift store. Uh, there's just so much stuff being cleaned out of homes. People are downsizing. They don't know what to do with it. Um, I actually talked to a lady on the phone the other day who is in Houston and she is downsizing her 6,000 square foot home um, and she's got to be out of there in um, six months and she just has so much stuff and um, that's just a very common story um, people are downsizing they're having to move parents out into assisted living or um, baby boomers are wanting to move into these um, over 50 communities and you know they just want a smaller home so all this stuff is coming to the goodwill it's coming out in estate sales and garage sales and while this is what we do we research things and see see how much they're worth before we let them go um, most people don't do that they're just they're just clearing out and moving on so um, that's why you got to pay attention to these things because you absolutely could 
come across this somewhere and whoever gave it away just doesn't know, doesn't care. Um, that's just the way it works. Okay, we have Jill. And this is from her pile of I have to list it so I'm doing clothes first pile. <laughs> Bought it at a rummage sale over the summer for my kid who promptly outgrew it. I paid maybe two dollars, had it listed for less than forty for less than two days, sold for fourteen ninety nine. So yeah, this is not a huge sale, but this is one of these things that when you have all those piles of stuff sitting around, if it's not listed it can't sell. And this is such a cute little outfit. Um yeah cute outfit that was just sitting there and it maybe cost her two dollars and she sold it for 15 bucks so get those things listed they can't sell if if they're not listed and we've got Jen here has some more sweaters um, here's Erica she posts a lot uh, every week and does some great sales uh, a bolo which is a be on the lookout item I learned here was for I don't know if it's Allegria or Allegria. I've heard it both ways. Found this pair at a thrift store for $3. Took best offer for $46 after about a week. So let's take a look at these. If that will go. <clears throat> so these are, I think it's Allegria. I think I've been saying it wrong. And they have the little butterfly on the heel. So I have a video about that. Just um, take a look at the top there and you can go watch that video about this brand. Um, nice looking shoes. They have this thicker sole. It's like a rocker sole. And if you look at the bottom, lots of tread left on the bottom in great shape. And these were, again, $3. Took a best offer of 46 after about a week. So good job there. Um, here's Jill again. Purchased at a Goodwill store after checking comps. Paid $3.99. Let it sit for two days while having no good excuse for not getting listings done. Jill, stop beating yourself up. <laughs> I made myself list it before bed Saturday night. Sold less than 24 hours later with free shipping. So she paid $3.99. Let's go see what this is. and it's a headset and a Bluetooth deal so one of those electronic things the headset with the little microphone the charger the box all the stuff so let's see what was the condition on this it says used but barely used looks like so this was $3.99 and she sold it for $49.99 so there you go okay let's see what else we've got pick, try to pick some different things every time here's something interesting Tina found at the thrift store for $3.50 did some research everything is popping up oh <laughs> Robert is Robert is one one of our moderators on the group and um, today's his birthday so I had put up this sarcastic happy birthday uh, meme that I created for him because he's into the, the martial arts thing and um, so now I'm really gonna embarrass you Robert happy birthday today is what is it the 19th January 19th so happy birthday <laughs> okay so back to Tina's hat uh, she paid 350 did some research and these are $30 brand new so what is this because I love these little little things that get overlooked people don't know what they are um, everybody's busy looking for the Ralph Lauren stuff and the you know the high-end Nike shoes and you know, I'm over here digging through the hats and scarves and seeing what's in there so it's called love your melon never heard of this it's got this nice um, okay there's the logo so it's a red circle with love your melon and a little heart on the inside and then on the front it's got a looks like a little leatherette logo thing 
right here at the bottom. My screen's not cooperating. There it is. So that's something to look for when you you know, are digging through the bins or like if you're at Goodwill, the way they have ours is all the accessories like scarves and slippers and socks and belts and that kind of stuff are on top of the clothing racks in smaller little, um, I guess it's a smaller bin, but it's not anything like the bins that you people that go to the outlets are have, you know, see. So the only thing I would change on this listing is I would put the color in the title and maybe um, knit, K-N-I-T, um, just some more keywords to get more people to that listing. But obviously she did really well and sold it for um, full price in five days for a $3.50 investment. That's kind of high for a hat. Um, you know, obviously wherever Tina is, that's the price, but this is the kind of thing you might find for 50 cents or 99 cents and you can sell for 25 bucks so yeah I would totally do that and then we've got Tina with some swimwear again I'm gonna say list that swimwear it doesn't matter what time of year it is you're gonna think why would someone buy swimwear in January and February well because maybe the only place you can get it is online if you live in Minnesota or South Dakota or Iowa or somewhere like that where it's snowing and freezing cold and you belong to the Y and you want to go to water aerobics or you know you're recovering from um, hip surgery or whatever reason and you have to go swimming um, online may be the only place you can find a bathing suit so you've got to take on the mentality of your customers not yourself get out of your own head because this works and for those of you that think it doesn't I challenge you to list something crazy that you think will not sell and price it right and see what happens and I just love to turn people around when they say oh that's that's not gonna sell in January uh, yeah it is <laughs> so here we have a miracle suit uh, women's size 16 swim skirt and just your basic black swim skirt with the uh, bikini bottoms built in there and she got this for three dollars and sold for twenty five dollars after being listed a few months so <clears throat> the proof is the swimwear is selling in January okay let's see what else we've got here Tina was very busy she sold a lot of stuff okay here's one here's one here's one um, paid six dollars for this set of pajamas listed for 40 took a best offer after about four months now this is another brand I have a video on and it is lands of Salzburg people might think ooh, selling pajamas that's weird but you know it's just it's high quality anything if it's used and it's high quality it doesn't it doesn't matter um, so here sh this is the traditional print of lands of Salzburg with the hearts and the stripes and you can see that the lands logo is in, in the material it's in the pattern so I think this one went for so much because it's a two extra large and it's the traditional print of flannel pajamas and she paid six dollars and sold for forty dollars took a best offer of thirty dollars after about four months so uh, as Jenny Baum says I'm determined to find some of these <laughs> ever since Suzanne posted her video they're out there Jenny just keep looking you'll find it and the day you do I want you to send me an email say I found it because they're out there all right what has Heather done here dollar ninety nine goodwill fine took two months to sell oh my gosh ninety nine dollars <laughs> I love these a teddy bear for ninety nine dollars so what is so special about this little guy let's see he is so cute fuzzy little teddy bear it looks like he's got the posable arms and legs there's something oh it's signed let's see what the deal is here um, one of a kind that's what OOAK means one of a kind I didn't know what that meant for years and um, people would put that on uh, Facebook groups uh, uh, sorry forums eBay forums where uh, you're learning how to sell handmade items and personalized items and they would always have OOAK and I thought that was like 
some kind of sewing technique or some kind of stitch or I didn't I thought I was oak and I was like okay whatever that is so that stands for one of a kind Helen Duggan Palm Beach Bear oh it's real mink fur jointed stuff teddy bear 13 inches so let's see um, so this is Helen Duggar is obviously an artist I did not know that either um, and the fur is mink so it must say on the tag somewhere what this fur is anyway she must have done some research on that definitely but um, that's why these this plush can really sell I mean a dollar ninety nine and she sold it for a hundred bucks it took two months to sell but you know what an investment hardly anything to turn that around for a hundred bucks okay then we have Tammy Lynn Tammy I hope you're doing well Tammy is a nurse up there in um, Akron Ohio and she works a lot of shift work she's on my YouTube in the middle of the night commenting and stuff <laughs> and on this group but um, Tammy said they're seeing a lot of flu up there so wash your hands and stay out of public places because it's it's crazy um, and I just want to thank all the nurses out there um, anybody in the healthcare profession that um, for what you do because it really takes it's a calling to be in the medical field um, I really appreciate all of you out there that that do all that um, kind of work because I could not do it so this is a Seiko silver tone pendulum wall clock black wooden contemporary modern she bought two of these at an auction for ten dollars each sold one for fifty nine so yeah Tammy goes to some uh, like live auctions with her her boyfriend um, I really need to find a boyfriend like that so if anybody in Atlanta <laughs> knows of any nice men that are into eBay um, because that's like my perfect date oh let's go to an auction let's go to a Goodwill store I mean I would be the the easiest person to take on a date if somebody was in uh, the eBay world <laughs> so she's really lucky that she she has a a life partner that um, likes to do this because a lot of people aren't that lucky so this is a cool clock she's got all her keywords contemporary modern pendulum silver tone and it was ten dollars and she sold it for sixty so excellent so let me let's look at some more things try to find some unusual stuff here um, here's um, so how we say this Her Hermenia linens did well for me first I bought this Looney Tunes nursery bedding set for ten dollars at a thrift store it came with the lamp crib mobile bedding wall plaque only listed the bedding and they sold for full asking price of forty nine ninety five within three weeks so she bought this whole set of stuff for ten dollars and she sold the bedding which is the quilt like the quilt and the diaper bag and a sheet oh it'll say down here yes quilts comforter fitted sheet crib skirt dust ruffle um, so there's no diaper bag in there um, diaper stacker that's what I thought that triangle thing was so she sold it for $49.95 so bedding is another thing I'm trying to make some more classes this year where I can really focus on these items and make this information very very laser focused so that like okay I want to learn linen so I'll have a class for that I want to learn baby stuff I have a class for that so I'm working on all that because that's the way I like to learn is uh, information that's very focused on one topic you learn that and you move on to something else so let's see what else we could find oh this is a this used to be a huge bolo these uh, Remington tight curls this was one of the things when I first started on eBay this was like the bolo that everybody was looking for these could sell for like two hundred dollars no kidding um, if you go back on my blog eBay selling coach blog way back you know ten years ago I'm talking about these and how how much of a great price you could get everybody was looking for them but I think now it's just 
so many people know about it that it's hard to get a whole lot for them anymore. But let's see what she did here. Two ninety nine accepted an offer of twenty two dollars within twenty minutes of listing. Probably could have waited and gotten higher, but I made the newbie mistake of not keeping up with things. I'm just trying to clear everything out. So that's okay, Kim. Don't beat yourself up. Um, you still flipped it, and that's a really nice set. The thrift stores are even on to this because these blue hot rollers have a wax core that keeps them very hot. Um, hotter than any other type of hot roller and what they're used for are um, the pageants where the little girls have the ringlets let me see if I can just find that real quickly on my blog let's see let me just let me just go to my blog here and look that up really quick. Yep, here it is. So this goes, this was written on in 2009. So we're in 2018. So this has been a, <laughs> no pun intended here, hot item on eBay for many, many years. So, um, you know, here's one I showed, whoops, jumping all around here here's one that sold for eighty dollars this was back then now but what I'm trying to show you is that this could still be a, a great item today um, this is just the base sold for fifty one dollars um, so back then it was a big deal but like if we look at um, pageant hairstyles like for toddlers we'll see all of this they've all got the ringlets um, like this kind of stuff I think now maybe the style is moving towards the looser curls but um, like this right here she's got the ringlet curls and that's what these hot rollers will do because they're usually a smaller size if we look at this they're very uh, skinny and they produce these ringlet curls and they get very hot and sometimes like the pageant moms will have multiple sets of these because um, you know they put like hair extensions on the little girls and you know wigs and they're, they're it's more than just their natural hair it's they're they're really making their hair big hair but that's what this does. So it makes this really curly hair. So now you know that little story and why it says pageant in the title is because that's what these are used for. So I feel like I'm telling some things that maybe a lot of you already know, but it seems like I get a lot of new people to my channel. So maybe you didn't know this. And this is a good bolo because they're blue and they're easy to identify when you look at the back of the store where all the electronics are and you see those blue rollers, you can go straight to that. Um, you can sell the curlers on their own. You can sell the clips on their own, the base. Um, you can part it out. So if you find a set that is missing some pieces, I would still do my research and you know see what you can get for the different parts okay let's see what else we're doing here I've got all these things popping up um, there's one thing I wanted to show you if we can get to it let's see Oh, here's a good sale. Beth Lane bought this at a thrift store for $5.99, sold within hours of listing for $60. I love it when things sell within an hour of listing. Um, this is a Patagonia, which is a great brand. And it's beautiful. Oh, look at this color. It's just gorgeous. It's like a sapphire blue vest. It's probably got some percentage of down in it let's see nope no down if it has down it's gonna go for more uh, but that doesn't mean if it doesn't have down you should leave it behind you've got to look at the whole picture look at the brand the size the color uh, those are very important factors in determining your price and um, Patagonia is actually a place I think it's off the coast of Argentina um, Pat I was watching a nature show last night um, 
and they were like watching whales off they were in Patagonia so it was like down here yeah it's down off the coast of um, Argentina Chile it's kind of that area so it's a real place and that's what this it's not athletic wear it's like outdoor wear um, <clears throat> is made for you know rugged outdoor wear that keeps you warm um, for hiking camping you know being in the outdoors so Patagonia if you look at the logo here it's got little mountains on it and that's because of the mountainous area that it's named for so now you've had your history I mean your um, geography lesson <laughs> um, about Patagonia okay let's see what else um, Janae always has good things paid three dollars took best offer of thirty five dollars the next day let's see what they are barefoot science arch activation foot strengthening system what is this okay so apparently it's something that you wear to help strengthen the fallen arches in your feet so barefoot science that's interesting I've never heard of that and let's see what she do again she paid three dollars at Goodwill took thirty five dollars the next day so <laughs> there you go weird sells so take time to look these things up especially anything new in the package because like I would never have known what this is but now I do okay let's see what else do a few more here and then I want to get busy listing my own stuff um Mia bought off eBay for a trip. I didn't like them when received. I wanted to recoup what I paid. Listed for several months. Finally sold for $36 plus shipping. So that's what you do if you buy something for yourself that you don't like, outgrow, doesn't fit right, whatever, you sell it on eBay. So these are Tory Birch Espadrille Sandals, size 11. And oh, there's, those are cute. The footbed is the. Um, the woven material that's nice those will look cool and they have the velcro strap you can't use velcro in your title that's against the rules on eBay because velcro company does not want you using that in your title so she paid she didn't say how much she paid for them originally but the fact is that she did sell them and got her investment back so Okay, yes, now is the time to get Valentine's Day up for sale. So Mia bought at Dollar Tree last Valentine's Day for a dollar each. Sold as a lot for $16.50. So get your Valentine's Day stuff listed. There's something I was going to show you that was mine. I don't know how far down it is. Let's see. Oh, what was something sold for $70. What is that? Where did that go? Well, I just passed it. Now I can't find it. Um, here's a good brand, Quacker Factory. If you've not heard of this, it's Quacker, not Quaker. And okay, so all you folks that still have Christmas stuff, Quacker Factory ladies plus size 3X shirt. Christmas is snow much fun. Christmas top. And she said she sold it for $37, including shipping. And it's a t-shirt with a snowman and a Christmas tree and a little bit of glitter, uh, metallic looking threads. And this was sold on January 12th. So Christmas sells all year long. I think I should make a sign with all all these sayings. Christmas sells all year long. List bathing suits in January. If it's not listed, it can't sell. All that stuff I keep repeating. Okay. Oh, well, here's Wendy. She came to one of my seminars in um, the one in Texas. So I got to meet her. She found this puffer vest at a garage sale about two years ago, paid $1 for it. I've had it listed for two years. A couple of weeks ago, I watched one of Suzanne's videos about SEO. She recommended, she recommended using 30 day listings instead of good till canceled. I'm in the process of going through all my listings and changing them to 30 days. So that's what she did. She took this down and 
refreshed it, listed it again, and she didn't say how much she sold it for, so we're going to look at that. It sold for $39.99, so 40 bucks just because she went back and refreshed the listing. Um, what happens is listings can get a lot of views on them, and over over time, if what the search engine looks at is how many views has this had based on how long it's been there and how uh, it's not selling so the search en engine thinks oh nobody wants this so I'm gonna push this down to the bottom so that's what can happen to good till canceled listings if you let them sit too long um, they may still come up in search but the um, you know search engine optimization rule on eBay well not rule but it's in the algorithm is that the longer something sits and it's getting views but not getting purchased it's getting pushed down in search um, that's a whole another topic so um, if you want help on your store things aren't selling well um, you don't know what you're doing wrong you feel like you've got all these great items um, check out my video above about how I can help you and look at you know search engine optimization on your store because I've done hundreds of these store evaluations and it's it's never well I want to say never you know 95 percent of the time it's not what you're selling it's how you're selling it's how it's presented it's things you're doing wrong that you don't know you're doing wrong because a lot of you newer people don't know the eBay search criteria so you know people get frustrated and quit because they think their stuff's no good nobody's gonna buy it and it's just a matter of it's not getting seen because you're not doing certain things to boost yourself in search or you're doing things that are pushing you down in search and we can get that turned around there's a solution to that so um, check out that video above and uh, about my SEO information and th that should help you okay let me just pick one more here Angie Hammond had a lot of stuff. Okay, here's what I was looking for. Um, this is one of my photo retakes. So in my video um, back about my things I'm going to do that differently this year, um, things I learned, I'm going back and retaking a lot of my photos because in the past two years I have moved around a lot and had different uh, photo setups and it's like you can look at my pictures and I can say oh this is when I was living here and this is when I was living there and I just want a more consistent look and some of these pictures are bad and I'm just gonna retake them and um, they're good items it's just the pictures are, are not great so this is an item I've had for a year and a half the pictures were bad and I went back and retook the photo so you could see they look a lot better um, still working on some shadows but I'll get there so this was a 100% cashmere hoodie I think I paid what did I say I paid for it um, six dollars at Goodyear uh, Goodyear Goodwill <laughs> and it sold for 49 um, about two weeks after I fixed the pictures so it totally is worth going back and fixing your pictures because you've already got the item um, you've already spent the money on it you've already got the listing created so pull out that item steam it do whatever you need to do take a better picture of it um, and you know end that listing restart it don't do sell similar uh, don't do relist do sell similar so it starts all over again and include your new pictures um, I also got a new um, phone because my phone was old and the camera in it was crappy and so you know I've done a lot of things to make my pictures better so I just wanted to show you that this um, it's it is worth doing because you've you've already got the stuff you've already paid the money for it you've already got the listing done rather than going out and getting more and more stuff all the time go back and maximize what you've already done optimize what you've already done and um, you can get some sales just by cleaning things up so anyway um, this went a little long and I hope this helps you learn some new things to sell if you're not in my Facebook group come on over and join us again it's called stay at home mom selling on eBay but anybody can join and do a search over here using the search bar uh, just put in money making Mondays 
um, or just Mondays and you'll find all these threads they go back I think to 2013 so there's you know hundreds of these threads with hundreds of comments and you could literally sit on here for a couple of weeks and look at all this stuff and learn what to sell so hope this helps you love your comments below and have a productive and profitable day on